few minutes later. Now guys, if a giant crocodile isn't scary enough, check this out! Probably the most terrifying dinosaur of them all, the Spinosaurus! So named because of the big fan of spikes on its spine. Have a look! <laughs> hey now guys, there are some times when you feel really big, and there are other times when you feel really small. This is one of those times. Welcome to the world's biggest dinosaur ever found! The Sora Poseidon! So over here we have examples of two different groups of dinosaurs. At the bottom are the family of Triceratops dinosaurs, so named because they have three horns, Triceratops, and behind them, the sauropods. Sauropods are the dinosaurs with the big long necks and the four legs that help carry their massive bodies around. Aren't they huge? Here's a favorite, the Stegosaurus. The Stegosaurus is unique because of the big spikes that it has along its back and on its tail. It would have used these to help protect itself from other dinosaurs. Okay, now guys, I really want to show you this one. This is one of my favorite dinosaurs, the Parasaurolophus. This dinosaur is so amazing because of the design on its head. Now it's believed that there would have been a chamber inside of this part of its head so it could make a unique sound to communicate with other dinosaurs. Hey guys, check this out. Quetzalcoatlosaurus. Giant meat-eating bird. Okay, now even though paleontologists are still trying to discover the truth, there's a debate that Dimetrodon was able to use these fins on its back to help regulate the heat in its body and absorb more light when it was needed. Now the Ankylosaurus is also a very interesting dinosaur. You can see from its mouth there are no sharp teeth, which also means it was a herbivore. They only ate plants. But you can see on its back, this spikes and this hard protective shell that has over it, and it leads to this club on its tail, and it would have used this to protect itself and ward off other dinosaurs. This is a Velociraptor. You may remember these the movie Jurassic Park. These guys were particularly dangerous because they would have been able to run really fast, jump, and attack. Also by using these articulated claws that it has on its back hind feet. A few moments later. The Tyrannosaurus Rex! Well 
them for its huge mouth, teeth, and its tiny forearm legs. It would have been pretty useless. Okay, Tyrannosaurus Rex. It means the king of the terrible lizards. <laughs> Watch out, guys. There's a family of Coronatorus here. Just like the T-Rex, with these tiny arms, with these huge mouths full of teeth, ready to bite. Okay guys, here's another favorite, the Triceratops. Also known because it's three horns, that's where we get the part Tri. Unfortunately, this was also another herbivore. You can see that here because there are no sharp teeth. Pentaceratops. Pentaceratops? Pentagon? Five? Five horns. That's it. Hey, come on, cut it out, you two. Stop, stop, stop. Look, you're crying, you're crying. Nobody's happy. Sit down and we'll talk it out. Pteranodons. These are the true birds from the dinosaur periods. You would have seen these flying around coastal areas near the sea, catching up fish and any small animals that they could catch. It would have included you as well.
so much for joining us for our adventures through non milk gardens looking for scary dinosaurs. I'm going to go home now while I still can. See you next time on Adventures with Teacher Lucky. Bye.